100 in 100, moment number 28. We're in Oshawa, Schwalywood, Ontario, at the Tribute Community Centre. Now, there are plenty of reasons to take a stroll down the tunnel. I know hockey players like to play hurt, but for example, if you break your finger, you might step out of the game. Well, how about if your finger is almost off? Here's Mark my thoughts. Uh, viewer discretion. Here's a little whack. The hands whacked by Sidney Crosby. Oh. Oh, that's, uh, those aren't fun. This one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it a number of times. Uh, Sidney Crosby slashes Mark Mathot's hand. Mark Mathot seems upset. And you get another confrontation of Sidney Crosby and Mark Mathot having words. That, that, that is pretty standard. That happens every game, all hockey games. I don't understand why this is a big deal. Ah! Oh my God, Mark Mathot, oh my. Ottawa Senators head coach Guy Boucher, as you can imagine, not happy after the game. Yeah, his fingers destroyed. I mean, it's it's uh, shattered, and he's out for weeks. So you got to assume that's Mark Mathot's season, right? He's done. He's done. There's no way he's going to come back. That's not just a broken finger. That is a Frankenstein nightmare before Christmas, almost broke off finger. No, he's a hockey player. He came back for the playoffs. For the Senators, the big news: Mark Mathot is in. Sidney Crosby would go on to receive no supplemental discipline for the slash, and Mark Mathot would go on to receive keeping his finger. Mark Mathot has looked better and better as he has gotten the rust off, returning from having the tip of his finger chopped off by Sidney Crosby during the regular season. This is a brave guy. And as fate would have it, those two would collide in the Eastern Conference Final. Onto the ice steps Crosby just ahead of him. Crosby gets buried by Mark Mathot again. But we're not there yet. So click subscribe so that you can stay tuned for when we do get there. And check out our playlist for all of our previous 100 and 100 moments.